In this video, we're gonna show you 31 dirt bike hacks and tricks that are gonna make your life way easier. Coat your tube in baby powder before you install it. A tire can actually spin on the rim and mess up your valve stem. This will prevent it. Carry your stand with no hands, pop your kickstarter out, throw it on, or if you have no kickstarter, just put it on your foot peg. If you forgot a stand, use a tie down attached to your truck or your trailer. Super easy way to get grips off, use compressed air. Master link removal and install with a screwdriver and hammer, a couple quick pops, the master link will pop right off. The screwdriver is also handy to pry the remainder of the master link off. Installation, just the opposite, set the clip and then one quick hit and you should be on. You can also use a needle nose to remove as well as install the master link. Use a file to remove the dull edges on your foot peg. A sharper foot peg means more grip on the bike. Attach a zip tie to a fork leg. It's important to measure the amount of distance that your forks are traveling so you can understand if you're in the correct spring rate or have the correct clicker settings. As you ride, the zip tie will move down, letting you know how much your fork's actually compressed. Here's a quick fix to any type of crack or break in any plastic on your dirt bike. Grab a rag and cleaner, make sure to clean off and free the area from any dirt, and grab baking soda and super glue. Now while holding the broken plastic together, apply some super glue directly over the crack and then immediately throw some baking soda on top of it and just blow it off or shake it off and it will instantly form a bond. I do this on both sides and it brings your drying time down to basically just a few seconds and it forms a rock solid bond through the magic of science. Put a little air in your tube, just enough to hang over your finger like this and it'll help prevent pinching during installation. Axle nuts can be very tight and require a breaker bar or something to loosen. Just use your leg. It's much stronger on your arm and it works extremely effectively. To tighten this gap between your chain adjuster and your axle block, use a folded up paper towel. People put wrenches in here, but metal on metal can damage parts. This will save your tools and works just as well. This durable carpet is generally sold by the foot at a Home Depot, Lowe's, or your local hardware store. It works extremely nice to just lay down when you're getting ready to work on your dirt bike. Your bolts don't roll around, everything stays in place nice and tidy. A leaky fork seal can ruin a great day of riding. Pop your fork cover off or just enough to move it out of the way. Clean your fork bottom. Then with just a regular business card, go ahead and slide it up in between your fork and the seals to hopefully free any debris that will be causing the leak. To go one step further, pop your dust seal off. You can see the fork oil coming out. Clean off the excess fork oil. Then make a small ring of grease just under the fork seal. This is not meant to be a permanent fix. This is only a temporary, you want to finish out your day of riding type fix. Grab the front brake, compress the grease down into the seal, then go ahead and clean off the additional grease, pop your dust seal back on, and you are ready to finish out your day of riding. Stinky boots, you know who you are. Use dryer sheets to store inside your boots between days of riding to help with smell. If you have graphics or a sticker that's peeling off, peel it back just enough to expose the clean part of the adhesive, cut the dirty part off, stick it down. This will prevent more dirt from getting under there. The rubber rim strip bands that come stock on your wheels pretty much always go bad and it's the protection between your tube and the spokes, making sure that your tube doesn't get any punctures. Pop it off, clean it up, split a duct tape roll in half and then wrap it around on top of your spokes. Two layers is a good amount to have. When you're done, make sure that you push all the tape down on your spokes so it stays in place. Then locate your rim lock and your valve stem holes and just take a razor and cut those out. Your foot peg can act as an efficient tool holder and help speed up the process of working on your bike. Spraying WD-40 or some type of lubricant on a muddy ride day can help the mud prevent from sticking under your fenders, adding all that weight to your bike. Another rainy day or mud ride hack is grab an old goggle lens, tape it to the end of your visor. This will extend the visor, allowing you to tilt your head down just slightly and keep debris or rain from hitting you directly in the face. This will help you alleviate the mistake from accidentally pulling all of your tear offs on the first lap. Put the first tear off onto the throttle side, loop it under, second tear off, still going to loop it under onto the opposite side. And your third tear off is going to be the normal long way onto the correct side. Now you have your first pull, your second pull, and your third pull. 
A quick fix for a radiator leak is to use ground black pepper, pour it directly inside your radiator to stop the leak. Your bike, when hot, will smell like pepper. Use a pliers as an extension to get that initial first turn on any type of small Allen bolts. If you forgot your plug when washing your bike, use duct tape, it works just as well. To prevent your grips from twisting on the bars, wrap a piece of wire around twice, cross it at the bottom, and then grab that cross part with a grip pliers or a regular needle nose, twist it a few times, cut off the access, then push that remaining sharp part up into the grip. Two wires should be enough. To get the remaining adhesive residue from a sticker you took off, just use duct tape. Pat it up and down and it should grab most of it. If the adhesive is too strong, a razor blade works well. Secure your sprocket bolts best by using thread lock on the threads as well as the head of the bolt. To install a valve stem into your rim, make sure your tube has a little bit of air in it, seat it down into the rim. This should give you plenty of room to actually get one of your hands behind the valve stem and then push it through the rim, then get your nut on it right away. Chain adjusters can seize, it doesn't happen a lot, but when it does, it can be a pain. Remove the chain adjuster entirely from the swing arm, twist the nut all the way to the top and apply grease to all the threads, then install it back into the swing arm and you'll never have an issue with your chain adjuster seizing. The correct way to do a helmet strap is go through both over the first metal ring and then under the second metal ring. Chains get nasty and full of gunk. To clean it thoroughly, use simple green concentrate water in a bucket, shake it all around, leave it overnight or a day, scrub it, use water to clean it, use compressed air to dry it, and then rub it down with WD-40 and you'll have a nice clean working chain. When installing a goggle lens, start on each end then go ahead and click those in, then install the bottom and the top. Thanks so much for watching our Dirt Bike Hacks video. We sure hope you learned a lot. There's more videos on the right. Make sure to subscribe, and if you liked it, give us a like, and we'll see you next time.